One of the things I really like about the HTA Project Technology Assessment Form is it's very brief and it really gets our clients to the point. It kind of briefs over a lot of things that a lot of our clients don't really think about as technology. You know, they're thinking, hey, this is audio video, but they don't really think about basic Wi-Fi or surveillance cameras. As we said, we all these temperature controls, all these things that it really kind of gives them a idea that, hey, someone's gotta handle this. It's not like, you know, my electrician's gonna pull a couple wires and everything's gonna be magic. As a builder, knowing that HTA is coming through and, and vetting all these integrators up front is, is super helpful. One of the things I like about the HTA profiles is I'm able to look at an integrator to see if they're a match for our project. Most of our projects are at the very highest level and we're looking for a partner that can work with us on that project and operate at that level as well. You know, I've seen some horrible installations where I walk into a home and the client's saying, well, this isn't working or that isn't working or this keeps failing and I go back into the IT room and I see cables around like spaghetti. To me that's a sign that hey it didn't work but if we don't have the tools to be able to select the integrator up front and know that they meet the qualification level then we're just taking a shot in the dark. The HTA budget calculator is a very useful tool to help understand what their budget expectations are. Clients don't really understand what the technology systems cost and when they get these bids from all the technology integrators they're really surprised. My experience working with the integrators too, it's very difficult when we bring them on late. I've gone through issues in the field where lack of planning and the, and the integration side has caused other issues and additional cost to the owner. Having those things planned ahead of time is, is a necessity.